My name is Tennis Quinfoni and welcome to how to delete an orphan virtual machine when the remove option is not available. I'm recording this video for personal training and it will take about 5 minutes. This video is the best view for a level 1 or level 2 engineer. So, let's start. During my troubleshooting I found myself in this strange situation in which I was unable to quickly identify the remove from inventory option. And I'm going now to show you how to simulate this issue. As you can see this virtual machine is fully functional. It's hosted on the A6i2 with IP06. And it's stored on a QNAP TS2538A with an 80GB data store connected through iSCSI. Now what I'm planning to do is to shut down this QNAP device and as you can see the system detects the following activity are still in operation the iSCSI connection from the VMware cluster As you can see the status of the virtual machine is now inaccessible and the status of the two QNAP volumes are unreachable. And just to continue to complicate this situation, I'm going to connect it to the SXI02. And what I'm going to do now is to remove this virtual machine from the inventory. In this center, the virtual machine is now in northern state, while the QNAP device is now reachable. And just for curiosity, I'm going to try this updated VKB valid for the center 5. And as you can see in this vCenter version I'm unable to drag the virtual machine to the folder I've just created. I'm going also to verify that no locking mechanism are in place for this virtual machine. I've also tried to create an Austin cluster folder with no success. So in my case, the most simple solution to delete an orphan virtual machine when the remove option is not available 
is going to non virtual infrastructure actions, more uncategorized actions, and find a removal from inventory. And now this virtual machine is ready for another experiment. So thank you for watching this video, subscribe on my channel and if you like, let's keep in touch through my website. Bye bye!